We've 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 come to the to the conclusion that um, that we need to be a little more active yeah. than we've been. We've I mean, been giving, talk, right. you know, bringing it up and doing it and everything yeah. like that, and been giving out the cards. But um, we're, we're so busy when we're taping the things. Sometimes you don't yeah, yeah. think about things yeah, yeah. to the Duke. But, so so we're thinking about making it not exactly, but almost mandatory. Of you know, we're gonna. We're going to express it more to the bands that that come on that we that we feel they they should they should be obligated to upload yeah. a, a video. Start with Mount Dungeon. Then. Well, yeah. uh, and you see, see, <laughs> well, yeah, that's what that. I'm saying I is, that. is in response they're going to want a video, yeah, I, I and they're going to need to I, use I, a song from Mount Dungeon. I want to you know, say this so. in that I, I kind of I, I looked on uh, this is my band.com recently, and I was kind of horrified Mount Dungeon doesn't have a profile. Exactly, I'm going to make a right. profile for Mount Dungeon. This is my band.com. I have not been very involved in the internet end of Mount Dungeon. I just, I mean, I had, you know, tall, like halfway through this year, I had still had 56K dial-up. So the internet ends the things I really haven't paid a lot of attention to. And when I looked at this is my band.com because I finally have high-speed internet, I'm like, ooh, ooh We're not we need there. to do something about this. Right. So. And, and so, and obviously I have musical guests on here, and I've, I have not yet edited any of those songs out as separate songs in anything. They're just on, you know, I archive them, and they're just archived. Okay. And, uh and so, so I need to go back into the archives and mm-hmm. chop something out. And I've, yeah. I've never uploaded a music video. I've never uploaded a video onto the internet anywhere mm-hmm. yet in my life. So that's a hurdle either, I have to, I, it's it's hurdle I have to get over, actually. you know. I mean, I know, and you, you you've know? been a member of this, my band, like, since From the beginning. From the beginning, pretty yeah, much, yeah. like the third member. Right, but I've never uploaded anything <clears throat> because I've never uploaded anything. It's just, <laughs> I've just never gotten over that hurdle yet, you know what I mean? To do it, but I'm learning about it, and uh, from I'm talking to, to Kurt, who Kurt apparently had trouble at first, right? Yeah. And and Kurt told me that this was this this was concerning uploading to an, another company, you know, uh, but he told me MPEG four, right? Uh, and I assume that the same would go for your. For it your, should. I, I don't remember if I've got it in there or not, but mm-hmm. the problem with his was he was uploading QuickTime videos, and right. I didn't add QuickTime as an extension, so it was just. Oh, you have it, to. It yeah. was just. Add, it was just logging you, him out. Have you, you know? added it now? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Once I found out the problem, oh, it yeah. took us like two months to find out the problem. Oh. Uh, so I had to add an oh, actual. You have to. Uh, well, yeah. I had to, what I ended up doing was I added a loader bar up there so it would show him the thing. It, and so I said well, yeah so I said well what uh, you know how far is it getting and he said well mm-hmm. it's getting all the way to the end mm-hmm. so then that helped me right there I said well if it's getting all the way to the end then it's not being kicked out during the upload it's being kicked out after the upload mm-hmm. so I said why would it be kicked out after the upload it. yeah I said why would it be kicked out after the upload and then I asked him I said what are you trying to upload and he said well it's quick time videos and I said that's it mm-hmm. I went and looked at the PHP quick code. time file no quick time file mm-hmm. So I'm assuming I've got MPEG four uh, as an as an extension on there if I don't add it. Check that out yeah. uh, because apparently that works really smooth. You, you get some good looking video. You do. And they're and and, well. and the yeah they're 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 compressed. They're yeah. digital anomalies, but for internet, that's good looking video and you and small files. So you yeah. want MPEG four. Right. So Sweden that, has allowed a fair number of immigrants. Oh, it's a Scandinavian unified example. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I don't think they've disrupted the disrupted their mm-hmm. system that badly. Do you think we should pass out condoms at the tea party? Yeah, I'm sure if nobody's going to complain, complain <laughs> and a few people will probably feel very warmly about <laughs> Why are that. You against, <laughs> we'll start uh, bringing. We'll start. We'll start putting a little basket. <laughs> Why are you against ah. people multiplying? Yeah, environmental mostly. The more people there are, the more they pollute. See, that's the thing that we're going up against right now, and we're talking about in a closed system and stuff like that, which our planet is a closed system. You see what I mean? And and the and and we being the bacteria in the wine bottle or right. the, or the, or the unless yeast, we colonize space, you know, in which case uh, the, the are, universe is the closest. We are we are, we are expelling Maybe. Uh, carbon into our, our atmosphere. Okay, assuming all that's correct, mm-hmm. what happens? When you get an overcrowding of bacteria. Oh, now, okay, oh, okay. Things, All right, oh, well, I'll tell you. When, you, when you get it, yeah, you kill, it, they, they start to kill Something themselves. They off. kill themselves yeah. off. So, and they can kill themselves into total annihilation. So, uh, technically speaking, then, we could not get overpopulated. 
Because at some point in time, yes, yes, I don't want the you, definition I don't of want overpopulated to to would be if we become so populated that we wind up killing ourselves <laughs> off by a result but of it. We're, but we're, now, we're and and, and the as they that. as they kill themselves okay. off, they are, I don't know to what extent you can call bacteria suffering, but mm -hmm. as they're killing themselves off, they're probably suffering to the extent that a bacteria can suffer. Yeah, well, I just so, don't think that Earth can get overpopulated. I believe there's enough deaths uh, each uh, day. No, to, because to, uh, we're reproducing faster than we're dying. We've been doing know. that for a very long time. Well, That's why there's now maybe. six billion people mm -hmm. on the planet. There's never and, been that amount of people. And and not and not we're not to be there. not to be rude, you know. But the fact of the matter really doesn't care whether or not you believe it or not. You know, doesn't really change the fact of the matter. Anyway, uh, but anyway, I, I wanted to share. I wanted to share something because I, I wanted to share. You know, I want the salvation of of the planet and the global warming and the and the and the pollution issue with explaining. Um, uh, efficient solar energy uh, to people so that they could quit using um, uh, fossil fuels. It's, and it, it, and it's, it's easy enough if you, if you can find... Let me zoom in again. I get to be the star again. If you can follow me, if you can follow me, we'll try to do this, okay? And it, it, it's quite simple. And, uh, and that is that uh, solar... Well, did you have something, Jonathan, or were no, you just I watching? I already forgot. I was going to throw it. I'm going to watch. Don't keep, keep okay. doing it. Okay. All right. I'll come back if you get it. All right. What it is is um, uh, solar electric is inefficient, uh, as it is with, uh, you know, so solar electric panels. Well, there's nothing wrong with, with them except that they're, they're not efficient enough and, and stuff. But the efficient way to go solar electric and stuff like that is um, you use... Um, you can do it off the roof of a house. A flat roof can even be made a concave roof. Uh, but, but you can do it with reflectors. If Let's just use, for an example, a small field. Let's say a, an acre. All right, for an acre of, if you take an acre of land and if you install mirrors on the, on the acre of land, mirrors are very efficient. And, and mirrors can be controlled uh, uh, if, Directional. Yeah, they can be controlled very... It doesn't take much power to move a mirror that is, is pivoted in its balancing point and stuff like that. I wonder if you could so, tie them to sunflowers. Basically, you basically basically they, they, they can be con computer controlled and can follow the sun just like a, a, a sunflower. And you have, the, um, you have the mirrors so that they all reflect the sun's energy to a single point, a small, a short tower. The solar oven, yeah. A short, a short solar yeah, right, like a large solar oven, exactly. And you, you just uh, concentrate the uh, um, energy of a, a large area of land or the, the area of the roof of a house. If you, if you concentrate the solar energy with reflectors from just the roof of, you know, the, the square footage of a house, that's a tremendous amount of energy. If, you know, you know how hot your hand gets in the sun. You know how hot the street gets in the sun. Well, if you if you reflect that, if you make that twice as much sunlight on that area, it's going to get a lot hotter. Well, if you make it three or four or five or ten times that, you're getting really, really hot. And <clears throat> and you focus this energy toward a monotube steam generator, which is just a coiled stainless steel tube in which you you inject water in one end of it. And the tube gets so hot that steam comes spurting out the other end. And steam is a very efficient uh, um, kind of uh, power transfer. Yeah, I think all, all, all the power plants pretty much, nuclear Use and steam. And yeah, right. You've got a nuclear power plant, and they're, what are they using? Steam engines, they're yeah. using steam. But you see, steam is something you're not hearing. You know, steam is a lot of what got us into this trouble. Steam was, steam, it was, was what was, had a lot to do with the uh, Industrial Revolution, see, was based on steam. But, but when it comes to getting out of this trouble, the, the, steam is like a dirty word. See, the oil companies do not want you to say the word steam. Okay, well, because the they're oil, invested the in the internal combustion engine. Right. Well, steam-driven engines are not internal combustion engines. They're external combustion engines. And internal combustion engines are, by design, big polluters. But external combustion engines need not be polluters. You see what I mean? And so the, the answer to the problem is steam. And we can generate steam with solar quite efficiently. And... The amount of energy that can be uh, generated from the roof of a house, 
if the house is run efficiently, can not only uh, generate enough electricity to run the house, but enough extra, it's time for the 420 roll, to charge your automobile. And uh, blah, 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 blah. So, okay, well now whatever I did made it stop screaming, didn't it? Okay, good, <laughs> all right. I hope it's not just the snooze button. We'll find <clears throat> out. We'll find out. Okay. When we return. Yeah. Well, are we returned yet? Let's see. Well, oh, and it's not there. Okay. Let's see. It's them. Oh, it's them. Okay. All right. We're, um, we're working on it. We're working. Oh, it's not this one. <laughs> I'm glad that alarm goes off one minute before 20 after. Well, that's the that was that was the plan. Uh huh. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this is actually going to be it. So, so I'm about ready for it, and I can turn this up, and I can pull this down, and we're good to go. It's the 420 roll. You know it. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. You could just press the mute on those. <laughs> The 420 roll. John! John! Uh, okay. Hey, that sounds good. All right, we got something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Here we go.
idea I've ever heard, and it kind of combines with an idea that I have for uh, an almost like perpetual motion generator. Uh, it wouldn't exactly be perpetual motion, but uh, mm -hmm. and that's where I've figured out a way to be able to take people's water. You know how much rainwater comes off the roof of a house? I mean, it's like... You well, I can tell you just from seeing the stuff like off the, the roofs here when, when we get a hard rain and, you know... It's, the, it's incredible. Yeah. So Not you have the these big year. storage tanks, like 500 gallons or whatever, that are hooked up to to your regular water, but they no, mo they mostly fill themselves up with rainwater just coming mm -hmm. off the roof. And you have this high-pressure system in it, mm -hmm. and, and it's like a pressure washer. And that pressure washer is turning a turbine... And the water is just shooting through this turbine to the other side, so it's recycling. Now, you're going to lose a little bit of water. Now, what, now tell me again how this works. It, the, the pressure washer is shooting through a turbine. Right. And the turbine's turning, and, of course, it's mm -hmm. creating electricity. Right. And right. you're using it's that electricity to run the to pressure run, washer? To, to, to run your house. You're going okay. What's going to it's it's run the pressure perpetual. washer it's off not It's not total perpetual motion. Okay. The pressure washer could be running off batteries or whatever. But it would whatever. be reduced. Batteries. Energy use would be reduced significantly. So what you're doing is you're running that, and it's and it's. I know you're laughing about that. So it's recycling. Okay. Okay. So, so what I'm thinking is, is that your idea with steam would work, and you just keep recycling that steam. The water as it evaporates just turns back into moisture, and just keep, well, believe, you're going to lose some over time. I realize. Right. That. Well, believe but it or not, there is quite a bit of recycling involved. Yes. With with the steam process, but it's not to that degree, and and we we under we understand we understand the the first, second, and third laws of thermodynamics, right. and we know that uh, that we can't uh, generate enough that we can't the pressure washer is not going to spin that thing fast you can't enough generate more to, power than you to, to generate enough power to run exactly. the pressure exactly. washer. So you'd be better off just run off the batteries. That's why perpetual motion is just... <laughs> And but 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 with steam, in depending if 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 you want to do it, sometimes it is more economical to ca to tr to capture your steam mm -hmm. and recondense it right. back to water. You can use your same you can use your same you can use your same water again. And distilled water is better to use in a steam system, so that exactly. you don't introduce uh, uh, minerals to it and stuff. There's there's technology. There's technology involved, but one of the really, really nice right. things you know, about steam and towers at the power plants mm -hmm. that are shaped like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those and are, I, those are the condenser towers. I'm really excited that we're talking about steam because I really think I really think that steam is going to be crucial to to uh, uh, solving the problem because it's an efficient it's an efficient transfer. But uh, but uh, you know I mean we, we, uh, the, the technology. What's good about steam is that that. As we become more technologically involved with our steam and stuff like that, we can become more and more efficient. But steam is not a new technology, and steam is not a, a like a high technology. We people can get involved in this on a really, really low level. Steam has been around for a long time, and mirrors are simple, and 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 plumbing. And monotube steam generators can be made very simply, and people can get begin getting involved in in turning solar into steam and stuff like that. On a, a you know, your average man can build these things and start getting it right. getting it together. And, well, they and, are more efficient. And, I mean, you can build a coal fired power plant too, but uh, right. you can build a coal fired one too. But they're more efficient if they're bigger. Well, one of the things I'm, I'm right. surprised somebody's not already doing too is, is we're talking about recycling rainwater off of the roof of a house. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why we couldn't be doing that and straining it to the point where we could take it, use it for our showers, we could oh, use sure. it for our toilets. Well, so people uh, do that at, at Earth Haven. Uh, you know, Earth if Haven, you didn't want to drink it, that. you could still drink city water or, sure. or well water or whatever. But essentially, mm -hmm. when you're drinking that stuff, you're drinking that anyway. It's rainwater anyway. It's, it's just rainwater run anyway. through somebody's but, field yeah, on I mean, its way that, to the creek. There's no the reason why somebody couldn't have a 500 gallon tank and that thing just keep refilling itself. Just visit visit Earth Haven. Yeah, it's down on the Mm -hmm. On the other, on the Rutherford County, Rutherford Buncombe line, um, and uh, and they do all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And and you take a space shuttle, uh, you know, they're doing uh, their urine right and stuff. With right. they just they're just inserting the chemicals mm -hmm. in it to take their urine and mm -hmm. put it back into drinking water. Right. They have toilets every Saturday. The military as well. well yeah. So right. why couldn't we mm -hmm. have systems like that in our house? I mean, I know it'd be a lot for people to get used to at first, thinking, "Well, I'm drinking my." You know, my bath water or whatever. Right, right. We and can be recycling you, that stuff. Right, right. Every time and, you drink water, and you're people, something's bath water. Right. Yeah. People can <laughs> people, people can treat their their uh, their wastewater. We're talking about and, little miniature treatment plants. Is what you're talking about? Right. Yeah, right. I know. I know. I know some people in in another state that their their entire house, all of their water is treated and stuff. Yeah, that all their wastewater yeah, is treated. And and you yeah. know what? It doesn't. It's it's not. It doesn't cause uh, the whole treatment system. All looks looks like a little garden out yeah. by their house. It's and, really and nice. Solar don't run off. Don't run off. Solar collectors on the roof. Oh, did you did you think what it was you wanted to say or not? 
Well, I was going to say that contraception is not going to save this plane. Okay. You Did you ever check the new twenty dollar bill? Well, no, I didn't. I came around oh, yeah. and folded the right way, but. Um, <laughs> I, come before we go off the air. Come back and tell the story of last <coughs> night, okay? Which one? <laughs> Which one? It, I got multiple stories of last night. All right, no. yeah, we'll come tell some of them. Mm. The best ones. So, with solar panels on the roof or whatever creating power, or your steam generators creating mm-hmm. power, right. uh, there's no reason why a home couldn't just be self sufficient. Right. right, that's the point well, of it. Head you'd there. Be, only thing you'd be missing would be cable TV, and you'd get a satellite dish for that. Well, yeah. As a matter of fact, if you if you if you were to polish the dish out off with some with a uh, silver t- uh, stuff and stuff like that, uh, it could it could not only be reflecting the uh, the radio waves, you know that that electromagnetic radiation, but it would also, you could also use it as a solar collector. Uh, yeah. uh, those lo- big old dishes can be used as solar collectors, mm-hmm. and the, and they can be easily taught to track the sun. Yeah. And, um, and, 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 and they can um, produce enough heat to, to make steam and run a Absolutely. small, and, and that will run a small generator Absolutely. right there. Yeah. I, I was going to come back on something that I don't think my population values are entirely Yankee. I was just th- trying to think of Yankee? how much. Yeah, Yankee. Brought, from, <laughs> brought with me from Massachusetts. Oh. Um, but my father, who was born here. You mean you're not from around here? Um, no. My my father, who was born here, uh, his father was born here, and he inherited the family farm from here. Yeah, but he but he's he, a Yankee. He's, he had a he has some, something of a eugenic interpretation. Could you tell by the way he talks? But he's not. No, he he's not opposed. Obviously, he he, he supports overpopulation. Well, and he yeah. was raised here, <laughs> and I think my grandparents were uh, were um, weren't that opposed to it either. Were largely eugenicists. And eugenics, I mean, Massachusetts didn't have much eugenics. Eugenics persisted in North Carolina. All right, now tell us what eugenics is. You're going to use... the South. Huh? If you use a big word like eugenics, yeah, okay. you have to tell us what that well, means. Well, basically the idea that humans should be bred for qualities, mostly and in usually intelligence, and that, and that smart mm-hmm. people should breed and that dumb people should not breed. But exactly the opposite is what happens. Mm-hmm. What about the fact that God said that uh, be fruitful and multiply? What, where does that fall into your... Uh, he's uh, obsolete. Well, that's because outdated. they wanted empires to go really large so they could take over other empires. They wanted to outbreed the other ones when it was still like well, possible, and that was feasible with thing to do. Would Genesis you, and Adam and Eve when the population was would you have a, right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, when he said that, the population would you, for survival. Yeah, who did he? Who did God <laughs> say that to? Did he say that to you? <laughs> no, did, did he, no. Or did he say that to Adam and Eve? When he said that to Adam and Eve, they, 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 they didn't have yeah, the exactly. problem. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Less than six million people. Now, if, now, if you're telling me he said that to you, I'm going to pay attention. Okay. <laughs> but, but, no, but there's people but if you just right tell me what, what he said to Adam and Eve, they didn't have that problem. I don't think it applies. Okay, do you want a cup of tea? Please get you a cup of tea. There's people that he apparently oh. said, too, because there's people that I've seen on Discovery oh, Channel that have 20 kids. Robert, get you a cup. Crazy, and saucer. Get Robert a cup and saucer. Oh, is there like, one? Yeah, is there been? Is that been used or not used? No, it looks like it's on you. <laughs> All right, we'll have Which some one do you recommend? That's enough. Uh, I think I recommend this yeah, one right now. That's cold. That's good. Yeah, They're both probably cold by now, but that'll be the warmest. That was the hey, last one. We've been uh, very hey. faithful with the um, sponsorships. Just yeah. Here's here's oh, yeah, your I here's your buddy. He's here now. He's here. John, Big John is here. Why am I you you no him. You're I'm talking to him. him. Oh, Your buddy John is here now. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the, the uh, what do you call what do you call him a? Uh, right, the question and uh, uh, the, the philo- What what should this independent Blue Ridge? What should its philosophy be? And I and I guessed it would be somewhere between anarchist and libertarian. And I an call an- it anarcho libertarian. Anarcho. He's calling you an anarcho libertarian. And he's saying that 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 that. Uh, well, I'm um, I'm surprised you have so little faith in my ability to be marginal. To be marginal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anarcho-libertarian is way too mainstream. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, but, okay. you're going to be even more but, marginal. For than anybody that. Okay. But what I was wondering is why you think pe the people of the Blue Ridge we'll would be is. more anarcho-libertarian than the people of uh, somewhere else. Well, that, that's a very good question. And oh, well, I, I and, Joe. And, and here's a question for him, actually. What, what, makes the pe what would make the people of Blue Ridge more anarcho-libertarian than No, the I won't leave the Joe back. I'll ask for something. And I, I haven't been thinking about that. I haven't been thinking about that. What happened to people? And the reason I think that the All people right. of the Blue Ridge could be <laughs> is enormous <laughs> arrogance. And if I may be arrogant, uh, cojones uh, made a brass on my part. I simply am a ide ideological imperialist. I think the way I think is the best way to think, and by hook by crook, I will try to make everyone else think like that. Hmm. But why make everyone else think like that here rather than somewhere else? Because here's just as good as any other place. In order but to watch the Mad Scientist Tea Party, but any other in order to watch the Mad Scientist Tea Party, you will need a thesaurus. <laughs> a thesaurus. I live here. A Mad Scientist. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. I happen to think there's other places that are that are somewhat better than here, even if even if the improvement might be marginal. Well, they they lack one critical thing. You exactly. <laughs> <laughs> com. I mean, I think. But you're mobile. No, not that mobile. Not that mobile. I'm pretty mobile. Well, once I get the farm sold, I'll be pretty mobile. Yes, but oh, okay, yeah. You have property. Yeah, but I can sell it. Once I, you're right. You're right. I'm kind of stuck until you're I sell stuck it. But until once, you once sell I sell it, it, I'll be pretty mobile. Yeah. Well, See, I have that. NASA. <laughs> yeah, that's a very not, that's very man. I am NASA. All right. And if I, I win an election, I'll be stuck here until I serve my term. That would be a problem. Mm. It wouldn't be a big problem. I'd be happy. It'd be the first yeah, it would, yeah. teleconference. I'd be be so bad. Yeah, I won't move to like. I have a to lot, promise that. A lot of the made of progressives and such about being multicultural and being tolerant, and this may be my white male talking. I, I hold no truck with it. Mm -hmm. I, I am a cultural and ide ideological imperialist. If you'll slide over that way, you'll get on this camera that I'm running now. Okay, no, okay. So, yeah. You can see yourself right here. Yeah. Go ahead. They're no, in a no, moonshine no, tradition. No, 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 no. I'm, no, not, I'm so really not right after here. the back of your head. Yeah, just, next to just me. a little bit. Just right. scoot up to the table. If okay. That's yeah, all I guess I'm saying. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. How's that? There is the moonshining oh, tradition. There you go. You're yeah, there, okay, there, now there, you're there. on it. Yeah. The moonshining okay. tradition is fairly anarcho-libertarian. Yes. Yeah. Also, this um, region pretty much told both the blue and gray to go to hell. So that mm -hmm. was nice of them. Including my ancestors. Oh, okay. No, actually, they're mostly on the blue side. All right. Oh. So what we were talking about before I arrived? That's not very imperialistic. What we were talking about, this is what we were talking I mean, I about. That, I brought that up at This first, is what we were talking about before you got here. Oh, That's okay. why I'm bringing it up well, now, because the, now you're here. here. We were you were, here talk, here you were getting talked, you and your philosophy were getting talked about quite a bit in your absence. You're an isolationist. I'm not an isolationist. But you're talking about just this region. Are you going to try to take over everyone else? No. Well. That's not much of Eventually. <laughs> I I am an imperialist in the imperialist. cultural imperialist. They say that Western culture um, is an imperialist culture because it takes over all the other cultures. Mm. Yeah, that makes I, sense. I don't have a religious faith in much, but I do have a deep, abiding religious faith in the virulence of Western civilization. We will invade anything. I don't mean... but. Bombs and guns and bullets. I mean Big Macs. Mm -hmm. Right. right. talking about the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles. Right. Right. I'm talking about the Beatles. Ready. I'm talking about music, right. movies, dirty magazines. Right. The head of the KGB about, right. said the Beatles won the Cold War. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, it, put away all your tanks, your guns, your bombs. You just bombard Burma. Uh -huh. With Playboys right. and, and parties. State. That's what, what I said. Doing? We need an done. army of partiers that go over and party, the and then everybody talking. wants to be like yeah. us because they said those Americans are like, some well, partiers. Sure. Sure. I mean, now that, I mean, there are boy bands in Iraq. I mean, come oh, on. Yeah, Burma too. I mean, it's spreading. Do it. The internet is, is helping to spread it at a phenomenal rate. But we're also fighting against that with all this military aggression. I wish the Chinese would get a couple places. The whole rest of the world's like. There's almost no overpopulation people on the internet. You have no. What happened English. to your? Country? And I wish I knew Chinese. I'm done. So I'm done. 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 I'm done
I've drank so much tea. <laughs> because they're not, if they're there at all, they're not speaking English. And maybe they're just so authoritarian, you know. But enough Chinese people speak English that they should be in the chat room and they're not. In well, I have to well, it might be they're restricted. Yeah, they might be. A, yeah, from a lot of websites, I think they're actually blocked by the Chinese by government, I thought. Pro ZPG. The, the, the Chinese government is definitely uh, doing that. In, by China? Yeah, yeah. And Google. But the government is with them. Uh, that's just, I don't think they would be. If there were a popular outpour of zero population growth sentiment in China, I think the government... My understanding is that it's supported, it's reasonably well supported. But now I thought recently, there I is thought they're opposition. starting to reverse it, where in the 70s they were um, encouraging, um, like, two or less children per couple, right? And then you were penalized for having extra children. What happened is now there's a worker shortage. No. Seriously. Yeah. And, and I just um, heard this on the news a few days ago, and they're starting to, like, lift those um, restrictions, and they're actually trying to sway it the other way a little bit and say, well, maybe, maybe they're saying three kids or four kids. I forgot, but they're... They're trying to sway it the other way a little mm -hmm. bit because they realize they're ha having a shortage of workers who are entering the workforce. Really and then they're thinking of being competitive in the global market and they realize they might be not losing only, some footing. Not only that, well, they're really trying to build up their infrastructure like greatly. They're the, like the damming up all their The rivers, countries with the like, lowest fertility rates get worried about their social security, their, their pension system. Mm-hmm. Um, with how many people are supporting the old folks? Well, there's two, and, uh, but uh, that's really the only that, that's really the only major macroeconomic concern. And they seem to ignore the perfect solution to that: immigration. Adopt an immigrant today. I mean, come on. Well, this was going on in our country. We have a low um, population growth, and we have immigration. So it's, it's exactly... I don't see why people are so angry about that. Yeah, and it's um. Well, it, it's it's a mixed bag the way I see it. There's a lot of benefits and there's disadvantages, and you just gotta really weigh the pros and the cons. It's a very complicated problem, and there's no easy solution to it. Right. And um, and, and so it, you know, it's just I don't know. It's just a matter of um addressing it. But of course, with the borders being so porous, I mean, and thousands and thousands of illegals coming in every night I, and every day, I mean, it's kind of debatable, but then to enforce the borders and make it really secure, that would be a lot of manpower and material effort and all that. And then it's like we would, you know, we would be like Israel. We'd be walled right. in. Exactly. And, it, and it's, right. I know, and it's like there's got to be a balance Somewhere that could be struck or something. God forbid we should be like Israel. <clears throat> yeah, and it's, and oh yeah, and Israel is just horrible what they've been doing to those poor Palestinians. It's true. I mean, they, they struggle every day just to get enough food and water and, and all like that. I yeah. applaud the um, hobbyists who took care of that little wall problem for the Gaza Strip uh, or the last yeah. day or two. Oh, is that, what, is that how that took place? The, I'm going to say it is, okay. because, frankly, the word yeah. gunman's been used too many times. So. Well, if the, Gazans, <laughs> if the Gazans weren't breeding so fast, I would have applauded too, but I'm, I'm mostly pro that. Israel. Yeah, they're, they're growing much faster, yeah, their population. Yeah, yeah cause the, Israeli, the Israelis aren't breeding very fast, and the, and the Palestinians really are. Especially yeah, you're Gazans. right. I mean, that's, the, that's <laughs> a big yeah, part of the equation, to you're absolutely right, you know. <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why the Palestinians have trouble with resources because their population is just growing and growing. Yeah. yeah, and it's, and somehow you know they need to have access. You know, maybe through trade with but Egypt a lot of that or other countries. Access. The way Israel public is access. Them. This uh, is they, the mad scientist no people on URTV. You are public access. Population <laughs> slows down. Door. But the, by the Israelis the taking away all their rights, <laughs> it's causing their population to oh. soar. Oh, actually, you're right. There's probably a big part of it. Because it's mm -hmm. desperation. When yeah. when when a family's desperate, a lot of times they'll have more children, thinking mm -hmm. that you know somehow their children can keep the family afloat. True. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes they do. And a lot of times it sometimes. works out. Maybe mm -hmm. usually, but not always. And yeah, families, usually it's definitely families in Palestine, that are on welfare though. will also have more children. Yeah, there's probably mm -hmm. two. Well, you're well, right. And we're coming to an end of that time. <laughs> we've we, we've we're, we're we're reaching the 
the crest of the bell curve. You know, popula- we are now reaching the point where population is beginning to be critical for the first time in, uh, to our knowledge, our planet's history. I don't believe that. You don't believe it? I don't believe that. Okay, that uh, doesn't change the, your beliefs. Don't change the facts. Uh, he okay. told me that already, so <laughs> I don't believe it either. Okay. <laughs> I don't think population... Do, do you believe that? Do you believe that, 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 we're, that our population is now becoming critical? Yeah. Population is a... All right, well, your beliefs of, don't, don't change the facts either, but go well, ahead. Population is a function of technology. Population is a is is a is 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 a is a, is, a, is, a is, is has to do with something else besides well, technology. Yes, that is, but the population that is a, a function world, can, it, work, uh, world can sustain is entirely dependent on the technology of that world. The higher technology, the higher the population you can comfortably sustain on oh, the planet. I, I, I agree. That's that's been that's that's been what I've been talking about technologies. Now now see his. He, Actually, I'd say it's inverse. He doesn't, he doesn't think... I, I would say it's inverse if you look at the capability to use resources. The more technology you have, the more resources each person is capable of utilizing. Well, they're still... So, so one person could they, pollute they, the planet and, to and, death. And, and therefore... Lived on yet, so. they, and, and, and they're, each, <clears throat> the more each person is capable of utilizing, and therefore the fewer... Right. If we were just highly be, populated, yeah, but we're not technologically be supported to the to the ex- extent of their capability. How but, can you figure we're overpopulated? Though? There's still trillions and trillions of acres of land that aren't nobody living on. Used. Mm-hmm. I mean, you take a look at the map of the United States at nighttime, and you'll see the East Coast is well overcrowded. The West Coast is kind of over.